Hey guys, I'm Zach, and this is Oxenfree. Uh, this is a game that I got on a Humble Bundle a while ago, and it immediately caught my eye. I think it looks really interesting. Uh, the premise sounds cool. Uh, I don't remember a lot of it. I just remembered I was just immediately interested in it. So, this is Oxenfree. Play. Night School Studio. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. I hate when that happens. Like, you find something that's really good or really works for you or, like, fits within Alex? your diet or whatever. Hey, and then they, with us? they change it in you some way. haven't said anything for, like, ten minutes. Uh, my mind drifted. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. But like, you find something that you really like, and then they so change the recipe, so you either um, can't have it anymore, because your really. diet, or just I some just sort of dietary restriction, or allergy, allergy or they exactly. change it, and it's just not good anymore. <laughs> in that that on sucks. vacation in Orlando, he got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and the blah, voice blah, acting blah, they this hit it is off. incredible. Aww, that's downright adorable. Like it's actually really good. And I'm you guys over, just I'm met tonight, Trump? Yeah, I was. Um, okay. I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out. So. And what does that make you to her then? A uh, second cousin. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. Did well, at least you seem him? cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. That's good. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. How I <laughs> tried to forget. It's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on yeah, their... let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Um, polio. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Okay, well, that was weird. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. I guess the controls are just weird. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Of course. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or That's whatever us. we call it now. I think. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters <laughs> with baby carrots. <laughs> red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina 
with her talent show judge face was listening. We must be getting close. Okay. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. Huh. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much. Dude, but nah, that's it'll weird. Be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hey, it's the, the group. So, like, are, are there going to be multiple pictures taken throughout this, and then it's going to, like, stack as we go? Because that'd be really cool. I like the aesthetic of this game. It looks really cool. The music is really good. The The voice acting is phenomenal in this. It's, it's very it's natural. Like, it flows, boys and girls. which is, we, which is not girl. common this in the game. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex? You can bum one off me if you're empty. No. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just check yeah. it. Yeah. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. Like when they talk over right, each other, like it's natural talking over. Uh, look, it's not like I, I they want to go up by they were given the I mean, line can't we just stick together? You're that cuts off. To say, like, I hate when that whatever, happens in scripts, because I've done... You want to meet up with your friends anyway. We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. I hate oh, when when okay. scripts like don't don't well, actually write really out what the whole sentence was supposed It'll to be. be they only put Thanks, to man. where it's going to be cut off. So the person the doing the cutting off case. has to be really what good at it, or it's really Ren awkward, or whoever's nice. doing it has to be really it's good funny, at figuring out you know? what comes next. Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's. <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen. I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. Well, every and what thing? I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Mm. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I don't know. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Gotta love kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. That doesn't seem right. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. I love this soundtrack. This music is just, it's incredible. And it's like just ambient enough. So we're here. Who's this? Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. I used to be a security guard. That is very much a thing. There's always one lonely car in a parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Bird. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941. 
and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. You know, I can, I can, I can actually relate to that. My, my dad was a, a submariner for 16 years. He, he was on the the nuclear sub program when he was in the navy, straight out of high school. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um. All right. But that's definitely like a real, real thing where you have to worry about, you know, Man, if the ship gets hit, early. there's. I guess like no if the ship gets hit underwater, there's here. not a lot that can be done. Uh, true. That's true. I know I'm talking a lot and I'm, I'm missing points. I'm trying not Hello, to. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. So, to summarize, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me- Oh, map. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So it's like a regional thing? Tell me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not- I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have- I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try. Get your ass over here and help, Ren. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. You no, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Bro! Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. I've been looking but, forward oh, to this for a really text. long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing, wouldn't drugs it's leave it more caves. up to chance? Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular yeah. cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Aliens. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns wait, some of the wait, island wait. or something. She's been shacked in the same spot Alex. for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. Have you, you ever been to the beach in winter? Never leave it. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island... You ever been to the beach in winter? Yeah. That shit sucks. Monkey butlers, lobster wives... Like, it's the dream. sucks. Oh, yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Here, Jonas, did right. you know that Joe. a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? <gasps> oh, really? So what if yeah, I am? Right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... Could I have ended that conversation a lot earlier and I didn't know it? Because now I feel kind of like an idiot for not doing that. Nine p.m. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's that? people. That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be. Into what me, the so little just, heads you know, of each of the characters cool, means? Okay. No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Don't be oh, weird, oh, gosh. Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? 
Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just is... leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... I just wanted to make sure you guys saw where we were before it got too dark. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. Don't tell him oh, that. Wait. That takes your power Jonas. away. Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? My uh, mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> hey, Where's everyone else? else? Uh, Nicole had that tennis thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. Clarissa, that... come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh. Oh. I get it, I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and- Everybody's still and hung over because they're a bunch of children. The they're a bunch of children. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. What's happening? Did I break it? I think I broke it. I broke it. BRB. This is gonna be amazing! Go to beach! Right? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So... What's Burn it all! The, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. Jason Kruger. I mean, if this is pretty uh. much a one-time thing, we should <laughs> waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, Hope your butt around you the corner. The Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. Whee! He's dead. Don't what? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Oh shit. Local news anyway. Oldest living resident. See your house. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous Gosh, question, these are Prada. Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes boy. play truth or slap. Truth yeah, or slap. Let's play that. <laughs> we can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. Everything so, feels so organic, Chris, like all the conversations, the the moving, uh -huh. like how everyone's That's moving around and actually Nona, like right? fucking around at the party. Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Okay, uh -huh. that's. <laughs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. Dude. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! Ah. What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically... He, you told me you liked her. Why do you even try to cover... You knew I knew oh, I'm standing snap. right here. Because I asked you to be cool about it, and now you're being like, whatever the complete opposite of cool is, hot, but in a bad way. Bitch, I'm All fabulous. Right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this has happened. This really doesn't. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Yeah. Ah. Ow! 
Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Oh, I love it. Yeah. She's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. Hey, man, it's the game. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Nona. Um, Nona. <laughs> yes. All right, let's uh, make it some. So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just, like, really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes like tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I'm what? That's it? Come on, didn't she get to, like, second base with your cousin or something? Hey, he kissed me on the cheek when he was six on the swings. That counts. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Yeah. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, uh just... Get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is... Yeah, stop being just bitchy. Why'd your parents get a divorce? Oh. Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. Uh, just no be why. honest with it. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. That's you pretty good advice. Guys, don't honestly, die, and everything will be fine. I am pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should. Let Game's over, Ren. I won, and to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Woo! Maybe party hard. That's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Yeah. Just what did we? Yeah. What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or Got playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Batch. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. Yeah. Very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, Is it house. nice? If you like bars on the windows. Oof. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Boost me up? Yeah, do it. come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever we never you're ready. About John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, so, the he, cave. Uh, What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal, annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. No, that's not. Uh, that's not okay. Ren, that's not an I'm okay standing thing right to say. here. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting you're a girl. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the gang? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. It's a game called Truth or Slap, Ren. It's supposed to be a goof. I thought you'd laugh. Why would I laugh at that? It really sucked, actually. I'm sorry. I am. I I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. 
I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. Ross, Gross. come on. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too, right? Jonas? Mikomita, Sukomita? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Smart. Okay. Smart. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. What do we got? What do we have? Okay. That was Morse code. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Because there's like immediate feedback in the I'm using a controller. There's immediate like this is so cool. vibrating feedback. I it's know. like, whoa. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even that. I was always the little sister who got I wonder what that Morse code is saying. through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody. Damn, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It sounds... Like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? I'm not doing that. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's, like, something in here. Famous last words. Famous- No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like, a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or, it kinda looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Ooh! Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Brownies don't kick Fortune in Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Yeah, you do that. Don't hurt yourself. Do what? Ah. Don't hurt yourself. Hey, I was specifically out of the picture. That wasn't even a selfie. This game's bullshit. So it doesn't stack, which is kind of a bummer. But it's still cool to be like, whenever there's a scene, there's something that shows afterward. <sighs> Ten boom. Okay, with that, I'm going to leave this here. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Little.